Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Thursday here, 5th of January. Been a sporty week. Um, good week. Uh, sporty. Ups and downs. Good ball. So uh, let's see what we have for the rest of the week today. Uh, pretty light. We have ADP today, uh, which usually is a fadeable metric um, we have trade balance in Canada unemployment claims usual stuff and then of course tomorrow we have non farms uh, and Canadian employment as well plus ISM services so double whammy tomorrow 2 30 p.m. and 4 p.m. Swiss time gonna be some action uh, let's take a look at this today we scooped up some kiwi uh, overnight. In fact, uh, you know, we just we're just trading this for an average. Sold some here. We'll be back buying kiwi um, between sixty and eighty, and looking to be core long kiwi uh, on the move back up. You could go with Aussie. I don't know why we decided kiwi, um, except for the fact that we had. Um, we had 62, 70, 80 as support, so we had some orders down there. Aussie, our support zone is, wasn't until 67, 70 because it went, it, you know, it stretched so high yesterday. Um, anyway, Kiwi's our horse uh, on the long side. Unless rates get above 375, um, we feel like, you know, between 365 and 375, it's just kind of negative for the dollar obviously we're keeping an eye on equities which are doing absolutely nothing uh, hard to the right hard to the left uh, right back to the middle here indecision doesn't really know where it wants to go obviously 3900 or 3800 will be key expect uh, we'll expect that to, to break tomorrow um, Aussie we talked about selling 85, uh, 95 yesterday. 85 was the exact high. It's not like I was like short and some fucking miracle trade, uh, but we did dump some longs up there, and uh, whatever. That's now no longer, I would say, resistance. If we get back up there, we want to look for a break, right? Um, It'll be the third time up. We have this high here from the 13th of December. We all remember that day. The 200 day um, was 69.04 that day. Um, oh, you can see it right here, 69.07, whatever, uh, held like a charm. Now we have this double top on the dailies. We've visited it two, three times now on the hourlies. So this is now a break trade. Uh, could come into play tomorrow. Obviously, if we get some weakness, a weak number. Um, or rates lower or equities much much higher Aussie could be your horse <clears throat> anyway dollar cad confounding me no fucking idea what the hell is going on here um, big throbbing red day my god uh, broke the key level but didn't but then rebounded. Yeah, we sold some CAD yen last night. You saw on Twitter, but we took that back. Uh, just a trade. We sold 9820s just because it was stretched. Took those back at 90 um, overnight. I guess the low was what 63. Um, just for a trade. But dollar CAD, what the fuck? No idea what the fuck's going on. Oil thrashed. It's a thrashing, right? It's like. Uh, it's like a nightmare on Elm Street. Bang, 81.47. How you doing, 72.80? How you doing down there, 72.80? 10 bucks. 8%. Man, the oil traders. Whew. Hold on to your hats. Um, so I don't know what the fuck's going on with Dollar Cad, and, and typically when I don't really have a clue on what's going on or don't really understand the price action, I just avoid it. But purely from the charts here, um, you would you would sell this 
through 74 and then use 7595 as your band to get your full position on and look for some continuation here one of the things about CAD Yen that I did notice um, is this trend line where is CAD Yen? Cuckoo um, you see this trend line that I've drawn basically this downtrend here from 108 down to 96 uh, broke yesterday and now we death knocked it last night um, maybe this is why dollar cad shit the bed um, cad yen buyers or or I don't know um, I don't understand dollar cad makes absolutely no sense to me but um, just purely if you're just gonna trade price which sometimes is, is the correct thing to do um, you know, you get through 75 again, you kind of get the feeling that 87 is going to cap it. Uh, and could get some more downward momentum. I, again, I don't know what's driving this. I mean, that's a big, ugly red bar that usually there's, usually I get some news or people are whispering shit to me, but uh, I don't know. Radio silence uh, from my mafia about CAD. I don't understand that crazy crazy bar keep in mind if you are going to fuck around in CAD uh, you got CAD unemployment tomorrow so you don't want to walk into that number uh, with a big position stacked right so I would just be nimble smash and grab um, because there's going to be big big fall tomorrow in CAD anyway enough about that Euro, middle of nowhere, not doing anything. Uh, after the first day of the year, we, we banged it. Uh, then we were back up to 106.35 yesterday. Today, the high has been 31. We're sitting here at 15. Really nothing to do there. Euro sterling, as I wrote yesterday on Twitter, is doing my fucking head in. Uh, we were short all day yesterday. Ended up cutting... Um, at 96, uh, which was our where we were short from, which was break even. As uh, soon as we cut, it goes 80 given. As soon as 80 gets given, it goes 10 pid. Um, don't really understand what's going on, but technically this looks like it's rolling over. Um, and also, if you believe that inflation in the UK is going to force the BOA to BOE to be more aggressive versus um, our New Jersey sunbed girl at the ECB is going to be less aggressive she's all talk no action whereas MPC is may might be more aggressive so I mean if, if this story does play out which I think is going to play out you might see euro sterling correct here um, obviously we're keeping an eye on cable 120.85 uh, all sorts of dumb lines here let's get rid of these fuckers um anyway 12085 and cable might be if you see 12085 and you see 8880 you get uh double mint double your pleasure there there's going to be some forced buying in sterling and when we get forced buying uh fx moves so i mean you could basically sum up my career in fx is i'm looking for places where people are forced to trade uh, this is one of those. These are one of those places. Uh, Kiwi, like I said, we're going to be back on the bid uh, between 80 and 70, maybe 82. Um, playing it on the long side. Dollar Swiss, just like Euro, doesn't know what to do. Lost in space. Will Robinson. Euro Yen, bang, wow. Uh, we got paid in that. That was not, not too bad, obviously, you know. It's 150 points higher from where we got paid, um, but it's fine. You take it. It's a systematic. You got to live with that system. Um, it's an, it's it is what it is. It's fine. We'll take it. Swiss Yen also got paid. Eurocad don't know what to do with this. Um, really don't know what to do. Dollar Yen also like what the fuck? What what the fuck was that? No idea. Avoiding it. Um, Euro Swiss, there's been some money made just trading the range here. 
buy down in the 30s, um, which is what we've been doing regularly. Uh, we have not been selling up at 99 because I do believe this thing is going to go north. Um, there's no real reason it should go north, but I just have a feeling uh, northward she will go. Uh, we'll have to see. I think there's some Swiss inflation today. Let me see. Mm, it's not like there's any inflation in Switzerland anyway. No, that was yesterday. Shows how much I know. Um, <clears throat> anyway, this has been working. Uh, buying low ones in Euro Swiss has been working. Also, selling high ones has been working. But we've been buying low ones. It's been all right. Cad yen we talked about on Twitter. It was just a trade. You know, we're not reselling 9820s. This looks fucking bid to the boots. Um, broke this trend line. Uh, again, with oil collapsing, why the fuck is Cad yen putting in that kind of like, you know, throbbing erection bar um no idea anyway i'm babbling oh yeah let's talk about euro norway systems had a short yesterday um, we did not get paid at 75 we hit some 73 30s um this is a you know this is a tradable short supposedly we're supposed to wait for 63 30 but i get a bit nervous with euro norway so we're just trading for an average um but that somehow worked. And gold. Uh, gold looks bid. And with gold bid, um, this is also lends to your sort of Aussie Kiwi. Um, tactically long. But uh, anyway, so we're smashing and grabbing today. Uh, we've already had a decent week. We don't, we're kind of in P&L protection mode. Uh, so we're just sitting tight. We're going to be watching. <laughs> we're sitting tight, but we're going to be watching this asinine Euro Sterling and Cable today and playing Kiwi on the long side. That's all we got, except for, I guess, crude, I should mention. Um, you know, we're buyers at 70, 70 bucks. Um, real light, small stuff. It's an investment more than a trade. Um, if it gets down there, we'll talk more about why we're doing that. Uh, but uh, 74 now, so uh, doesn't look likely today. But, you know, you never know, right? 77, we did a $4 day, a $5 day yesterday. Um, you know, have your orders in on these in oil, right? Because the shit moves. And then um, and see, see what's going on. Anyway babbling now have a good one people uh make some dough out there you deserve it probably um see you tomorrow ciao